Have you heard about CoronaVac? Let's get to know more about that vaccine with me right now. What's up everyone? Delcy Martel Vicente here, your post-graduate intern. Last March 4, 2021, Corona vaccines have made it in Philippine soil and now they are being deployed in various hospitals around the Philippines. In fact, today, I've got my first dose, March 5, 2021, at Adventist Medical Center, Manila. But, have we heard enough about CoronaVac? Well, we will get to know more about CoronaVac, what kind of vaccine it is, what are the ingredients of CoronaVac, and the side effects if you got CoronaVac as your first dose. So, who created CoronaVac? Well, CoronaVac is a vaccine created by a private company named Sinovac. So, this vaccine is different from Pfizer and Moderna because uh, CoronaVac is a vaccine made up of inactivated virus. To create CoronaVac, Sinovac researchers obtained samples from patients from China, Spain, Britain, Italy, Switzerland. Eventually, the one coming from China was the basis of their sample. Then, the Sinovac researchers cultured these viruses in monkey kidney cells because we all know viruses cannot survive outside of a cell. So they artificially use the monkey kidney cells as the virus host. And when enough samples have grown in that monkey kidney cells, they've dosed that cell with a chemical called beta-propiolactone. Now, what's a beta-propiolactone? Beta-propiolactone is a known sterilizer of vaccines, surgical instruments, plasma, water. It's a sterilizing agent. And this beta-propiolactone disabled the coronavirus by bonding in their genes. Thus, inactivating the coronavirus so they can't replicate anymore. But the spike proteins, the outer covering of the virus, remains intact. Wait, beta-propiolactone isn't that classified as a potential carcinogen? Yes, beta-propiolactone is a potential carcinogen. But we have to remember that the, the amount of beta-propiolactone used in this vaccine is so small, trace amounts, that it cannot even cause harm. Beta-propiolactone can cause carcinogenic effects if ingested or when a person is exposed to very large amounts, amounts that are not possible when it comes to vaccines. So. The beta-propiolactone that might be left over in the vaccine are in very trace amounts that is not enough to cause the potential carcinogenicity. So, when the coronavirus has been inactivated, the next thing that the researchers did was to filter out or purify the mix, the sample, so the ones left are only the inactivated coronavirus. Now, after the inactivated coronavirus has been purified, they now added an aluminum-based compound as an adjuvant. What is an adjuvant? Adjuvant stimulate the immune system to boost its response to a vaccine. Wait a minute, aluminum-based compound? Aluminum are known to cause brain damage at all doses and it's even linked to Alzheimer's, dementia, seizures, autoimmune diseases. So why are they adding aluminum in there? Let me correct. This is the first time that, that an adjuvant from an aluminum-based compound is used. Aluminum salts has been used in different vaccines such as HPV vaccines. Now, aluminum salts are used because they tend to make the active ingredient of the vaccine to be released slowly so that the immune system can be stimulated to respond. Now, is there a link between aluminum salts and Alzheimer's, dementia, or all those other diseases? Most experts agree that there's no strong evidence or strong link that Alzheimer's 
and aluminum salts are correlated with each other. And rest assured that aluminum can be eliminated from the body. At least 95% of aluminum is excreted in the kidney, while the rest are excreted in bile. So, there's very little chance it can accumulate up to a level causing unsafe buildup due to a vaccine shot. So, once na na purify na natin yung corona vac, we've added an adjuvant, then the next thing is i prepare na siya for manufacturing and then for injection. So, once the corona vac is injected inside the body, the inactivated coronavirus cannot replicate but the proteins are still intact and they are able to incite an immune response. So, the policemen in our immune system, the white blood cells, the antigen-presenting cells, the dendritic cells, they will swallow the inactivated coronavirus, get all those needed fragments, and then show it outside of their cell to call out the helper T-cells and the B-cells. Now, the T-cells will encourage the B-cells to what? to create antibodies. Now, these antibodies are lock and key, specific for that fragment shown. So, the next time that the real virus, for example, you be exposed to the real one, your body is already primed because antibodies takes time. It takes time for to be made because it's tailor fit to the fragment detected from the inactivated coronavirus. So, in other words, Para siyang binigay mo na agad yung plano ng kalaban para pagting ng kalaban, alam mo na kung ano yung gagawin. Parang ganun yung ginawa ng immune system regarding the vaccines na ipinapamigay. Okay, so I've mentioned earlier, I was one of the lucky recipients thanks to Adventist Medical Center Manila of the CoronaVac. And during the process, it happened in the morning from 9 to 12 and They've organized a very efficient flow wherein talagang pagpasok mo doon, meron mo ng reg- uh, registration. After ng registration phase, meron mo ng orientation. Ano ba yung coronavac? Ano yung mga side effects na pwede mong makuha after, inje- uh, after vaccination? Idi-discuss yun sa'yo. And then after noon, there will be an assessment process wherein kukunan ka ng BP, you will be ask about the history, have you been exposed, do you have the following signs and symptoms, may headache, mali, ganun ba? So, mga ganun, they will assess your history thoroughly. And then after that, pupunta na kayo doon sa consent stage wherein you will be given this uh, um, form kung saan pipirma ka, you're giving your consent, and then ulit, you'll be reoriented about Corona back. After that, then you will now go to another room kung saan doon yung vaccination process. So far, sobrang I really appreciate how the, the staff in Adventist Medical Center Manila did the vaccination. They were very accommodating. They are very approachable. And talagang they're, ano, uh, the nurse who injected the dose, she, sobrang bait niya. And ang gaan ng kamay. Hindi, ko, hindi ako actually nasaktan doon sa pag-inject sa akin. Medyo nahapdian ako doon sa nung time na inano na yung vaccine, uh, prenes na from the syringe, medyo mahapdi siya yung sa pakiramdam. Pero, tolerable siya. After naman nun, okay na. We, will, we were observed for at least 30 minutes to 1 hour sa wait, uh, sa post-vaccination area. You have to stay there after getting vaccinated. And then, vi- your vital signs will be monitored, your blood pressure will be monitored. Yan. And, if you are okay, then they will allow you to go home. As of the moment, I'm 19 hours from having my first dose. And so far, wala akong mga nararamdamang side effects. Now, ano-ano nga ba yung mga reported side effects if you get corona back? The reported side effects are mild to moderate. Tandaan natin, mild to moderate lang ang side effects ng Sinovac or corona back. Ano-ano yung mga yun? Siyempre, unang-una is injection site tenderness. Medyo mahap, mahapde sa feeling yung injection. Pangalawa would be headache, myalgia, malay, 
or fatigue. So, yung feeling na masakit ulo or pagkapagod ng katawan, it's part of uh, the side effect of having a coronavac vaccine. But, All these things, they also happen in other vaccines. It just goes to show na yung immune system mo is in its hype state and it's creating antibodies against the vaccine. So, kumbaga, prep yung katawan mo. Apart from that, pwede rin pong makaranas ng fever, chills, atralgia, also known as joint pain, and then nausea or pagkahilo. Yung mga ganun, mild or moderate side effects ng Coronavac. Kailangan bang mabahala? No. All you have to do is just take a rest, stay at home muna sa bahay, at talaga magpahinga. Also, kung meron kang history ng allergies, kailangan mo yung ipaalam. Kasi, Coronavac has this very small chance of having or giving you a severe anaphylactic or allergic reaction. Ayan. Pero, Word of advice then, because CoronaVac is still having its phase 3 clinical trials. Maaari rin siyang magkaroon or maging mag-cause ng mga serious na mga complications. That's why during the assessment and screening process, you have to be very honest kapag ka meron kang mga comorbids or mga underlying conditions. Kasi yung mga mild to moderate side effects, they are expected to happen in a healthy person. So kapag ka meron kang mga underlying conditions, you should state it in the assessment process para naman ma-assess kung pwede ba talaga sa'yo yung coronavac or hindi. Ayun lang, so that's all about coronavac or Sinovac. Ang maganda kasi sa vaccine na ito, hindi natin kailangan ng cold room. You can store it at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. So it's very friendly in our climate. However, ang hindi ko lang gusto sa coronavac is the differences in efficacy. Kasi sa Brazil, it's just 50%. While sa Turkey, it's 91.25%. So, I don't have the accurate number kung ilang percent talaga. What I can only say is, CoronaVac is beyond the 50% efficacy, which is the minimum requirement for vaccine efficacy. Pero for me, thankful na ako sa CoronaVac. Bakit? Because it's like 50% or nothing at all. Mas okay na ako sa 50% kesa sa walang efficacy talaga. Everything that would help increase our immune system is a big help. So, get vaccinated. Let's help fight the spread of COVID-19. I've, I've seen a post in Facebook sa nasinan sa akin ng co-intern ko sa group namin. And... In there, she sent a graph na tumataas ulit yung mga cases. Dahil nga, bumaba na ulit yung restrictions, minsan nakakalimutan na nating mag-mask at mag-face shield, wala na tayong level 2 PPE kapag ka nag interact or lumalabas, o yung iba, nakababa yung mask, so mas, parang nagiging, lin- nagiging relax tayo. When in fact, dapat hindi, dahil nga may mga variants. So, we, we need all the help we can get. Let's all fight. Continue to practice healthy protocols. Don't forget to wear your mask, wear your face shields, wash your hands, and do social distancing. Hindi porket dumating na yung Sinovac or yung AstraZeneca, we've won the fight. We are still there. And we're still fighting. So, whatever you do, today, tomorrow, or in the following days to come, will help determine who will win the fight. So help us, health workers. Actually, yung PGH, pinull out na nila yung mga interns nila eh. So sana huwag naman umabot sa ganun na ma-pull out kami sa hospital namin. So guys, please, wear your mask, wear your face shields, wash your hands. If you have any questions or misconceptions about CoronaVac, Don't be shy and type it down below. Also, if you find this video interesting, don't be shy and share it with someone who needs to know about it. I'm Dulce Mortal Vicente, providing you Med Remedy.